That's like me saying, what if the economy is not there? Make the fucking economy. Yeah. You create your own economy, you create your own reality. Am I right? Yeah. Let's go. Woo. You know what that means? I don't give a fuck what's happening. I don't give a shit. If I'm doing something, it's because I believe that I can become the top 1% in that. If I train, study, and practice enough and master it, then if I do, it'll pay me roughly this and fuck everybody else that's a 99%. I'm going for the 1% niche. So if you're in a place, dude, if I walk into your store and everybody's dead, dude, they're either going to throw me out or conform to me. Does that make sense? Because I don't conform to an average. Okay? I don't let a mediocrity crawl on me. You guys feel me? Um, I'm stumped. That's okay, stop. Ready? Come up. Ready? <laughs> Hold on. Is this life? Yes or no? <laughs> guys, listen to me. This is why salespeople fucking suck. No, listen to me. This is why people fucking hate salespeople. This is why. You know, no disrespect. You came here today to get great. So listen, I love them. Yep. But I you know, at one point in time, didn't make any money either. I wasn't making a lot, and I was a fucking amateur. Okay? Listen to me. People hate salespeople because they want you to take the pressure off them and give them reasons and excuses why they should do it right fucking now and give them the courage to say yes today. We're not doing that. So when we don't do that, there's a fucking problem. Am I right? So let's say my manager gives me a list of people that bought a car in 2019. And I'm sitting on my ass in a cubicle, and I'm like, hey, I want to be a lion today and hunt. Okay, ring, ring. Hey there, this is Tommy. Hey Tommy, what's going on? It's Andy down here at ABC Motors, where you bought your last car from. He's getting so crazy, we're about to put him in a straight jacket. All I need you to do is come down to the dealership for about two minutes. I'm going to give you a crazy offer and blow your mind. Tommy, in the end, it's completely your decision, okay? When can you make it down? Right now or after work be best? Maybe tomorrow. Okay, cool. And Tommy, <laughs> let me ask you a question. If your house is worth $100,000 and I was going to give you five hundred grand, you probably give me two minutes of your time, right? I'm going to meet you outside for two minutes. I'm going to blow your mind, and in the end, it's your decision. Now watch. Hold on. Now I've got to sell you when you get in. Hey, Tommy, what's going on? It's Andy. So glad you came down. What would you like to drink? Something hot or cold to drink? Tell me you don't want nothing. Nothing. Hey, the way things work around here, Tommy, if you come to my house, I'm going to feed you, okay? I'll get you something hot to drink, cold to drink. I'll get you an empty cup. I don't care, but i got to get you something. He's like, dude, can I get a better deal? You know, all of a sudden, the salesman does what? Loses the state, gets triggered, starts thinking emotionally, right? Maybe even gets mad, <laughs> which that's crazy. Dude, the client's in front of you because they want to do business. They're asking for a better deal, which means they're this close to the close. If you were to ever be in a better state, in a good state, to push them through to the signature, wouldn't it be now? Oh, yeah. Yeah. And we got an amateur. You got a poopy face on your nose. And the amateur goes, well, we can't get better deals. And all of a sudden, the deal takes a right instead of taking a left. He says, that is our best deal. Shop us around. If you don't want to take it, we're in the, all of a sudden, <laughs> Gone. And you know when you say you're going to do something and it hasn't done, hasn't been done yet, you know inside there's something that says you're kidding yourself. You're really not going to get this. I want to tell you guys the secret to life is is keeping that out of your life. Mm -hmm. yep. You cannot Hell allow yeah. voices like that. Listen to me, guys. Hell I'm yeah. honestly not very good at a lot of stuff. But you know how I've got this far or how we've gotten to where we've gotten is by saying we are good enough talk to and yourself. we are going to yep. make it and there's nothing that's going to stop us. And that, you must stay in that place. We're going to get pissed off. And what we're going to do is we're going to have controlled anger and we're going to go do something when we leave the event and we're actually going to learn to learn when we're at the event. And we're going to freaking change. Because if people don't change, shit doesn't change. So I'm going to bring so much fire, I'm going to freaking hijack their brains and I'm literally going to take what I know is possible, and I'm gonna put it back in their head, and we're gonna teach them to sell, we're gonna teach them to close, we're gonna teach them to do more, but we're gonna teach them to freaking believe in themselves. And magically, they're gonna leave, and they're gonna change no. their freaking life. See, this, hey, this this is totally totally crazy. Crazy. Listen, decide, be uncomfortable now or be uncomfortable later. You're gonna to have to be uncomfortable at some point. You're gonna have a hard life at some point. Some of you guys, you're like, dude, I ain't willing to do that right now, cool. Someone else in this room, less talented than you, right, is gonna do it. And then you're gonna look up in two years and you're gonna wish you'd have done it, right? Hey guys, I just wanna tell you, you're the true one percenters. You made it till the end of the video. Do me a favor, share it with the friend that wants to go to another level. Make sure you like the video, comment below so I know who you are. Set your notifications and then subscribe to the channel. We got daily sales training videos dropping. I'll see you soon.
drop cash in for a ticket. I'm going on a trip and I don't plan to visit. I'm gonna 